Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm on Roblox Studio and I'm just going to go through a few little tips. So the first one I'm going to do is the shortcuts for the main tools here which are the select tool, move tool, scale and rotate. Now usually when you've got a part down and say you want to move it here you'd use the move tool but then you've got to go right well I want to make it bigger or smaller so you've got to jump up there do your adjustments but then maybe you're not happy with that so you jump back up there and it's going to take well obviously it takes forever if you just keep having to move your mouse around so with keyboard shortcuts you can jump between the tools so if you do control and one that'll just go back to your select tool so you can click and drag select parts if you select the part and then control two that takes you to the move tool so you can move it around and once you've got it in place then you can hit control and three jump straight to the scale tool and control and four jumps you to the rotate tool so another trick tip is working with groups so say you're building a big object like a house or a building i'm just going to bring in loads of parts here it doesn't matter what they're like and first things first when you've got them all you can see they're all individually in here now what you can do is obviously you can right click and you can group them but you can see we've got a nice shortcut there which is Control and G so if you select all Control G and it will automatically pop them into a model there for you and now when you click on it it will select the entire object for you now if you want to edit one part within the group then obviously you can click on the box there to expand it and then find the part within but if you want to do it a quicker way with the part with the group selected hold down the alt key and then you can individually select parts within the group and it won't actually select any other parts within there if you do want to select a couple of parts then hold down alt and control and then it will also select other objects as well within the group one of the other things you want to do in workspace is when you want to rename items to obviously make things easy to find usually you click on it right click rename and then you know you'd have to type in the name but if you want to be a bit quicker you can just click on it there hit f2 and then it'll automatically bring up the rename option all right the next tip is not really a tip within this area this tip is to keep your work safe from accidentally getting destroyed or deleted if any craziness happens roblox studio has a autosave feature which automatically creates backups for you in fact you can see it was done down here so to access this you go in file and then you go down to studio settings and about halfway down the scroll under the studio part we have here auto recovery and it shows here a path for where backups are saved of your worlds if you did have to auto recover make sure that this is always enabled otherwise it won't automatically save and here you've got your interval in minutes for how often you want studio to save your world another thing you can do in studio say we add in a part and within that part we want to add in a script obviously let me just hold control if you hold control and mouse wheel up and down then you can zoom in and out to the script which is handy enough now if you go into file and again go to studio settings if you scroll up a bit then there is the option here for script editor now here you can actually set the font and the size of the text that you use in your scripting so if you don't like the defaults you know the default size or the default font you can change that here and it'll give you a little preview there of what it actually looks like so you know if you've got some fonts logged in you can have some little silly ones like that and close and you will have to restart so I'm not going to restart now but obviously if you do want to oh no it has changed it that so now you can script away in any font you like right so the next tip here is when you are adding in parts let's just move a few around a bit say you've made some nice little parts here and you come into play and if you have this problem where all your parts have just fell to the floor 
and that's not obviously what you want so when you add parts into studio if you don't want them to be affected by gravity or anything make sure you click this little anchor button here and that will mean that when you play the parts will stay exactly where you put them now there are many times of course where I've forgotten to do this and everything that I've made just falls down but it's easily fixed if you just select everything and decide to anchor them right so another feature that we have in Roblox Studio under the view panel you can see here show grid and what that does when you click it it actually shows grid lines on the base plate the smallest it can show is every two studs so you can see two studs across then there's a grid line then another two studs across then a grid line and so on you can increase this up so you can obviously have it as big as to 18 16 studs sorry so what that does is it just helps to kind of see sizes and kind of keep things nice and even so say you added a part and we want it up here in the corner of the square let's say we just want to you, know, you can quickly see that that's nice 16 by 16 square now you can see down here it's 16 across one stud tall and 16 you know on the other axis so the grid does come in handy you know if you're building big things and say you wanted four blocks of 16 then you can just say one two three and four like that and down again and there you go you've got a nice nice big base kind of size for a building or something and it's within that same dimension so it just helps keep things look nice and even and you know along the same size as each other another tip here in Roblox Studio you can see you only have a choice of four shapes now that means when you want to create something that isn't a square cylinder wedge or cylinder then you need to get a bit creative and figure out how you're going to make a shape there you go you've now got a very strange octagon and then can you see there you've got that weird bit in the middle where both of those parts are meeting to get rid of that then you can click that one select that one and union and then that'll just make that one whole part so now when we pull it out you can see that's actually one part can actually do that with all of it so you, know, you select all of it union and now this octagon with irregular sides is now one piece okay the next tip I've got here is when you've got a part let me get rid of the cheese bowl we don't need that anymore so when we've got a part and you want to add in another one that's exactly the same rather than going up here and clicking part or another part what you can do is actually duplicate the part now to do that you hold down control and press D and you won't see anything happen because the part you've just created is within the part itself so it'll be selected already so if you just click and drag you'll now see there's another part there okay that's about it for now on this video I hope you found it useful if you did learn anything at all then that would be great if you gave it a thumbs up comment down below what else you'd like to see and I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye!